हेलो स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू ऑल आई होप यू आर फिट एंड फाइन एट यूर होम डियर स्टूडेंट्स टुडे आई एम मेकिंग अ वीडियो फॉर द स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ टेंथ स्टैंडर्ड सब्जेक्ट जियोग्राफी इन दिस सब्जेक्ट अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट हियर आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस एंड शो यू दैट इज मार्क इन मैप स्टूडेंट्स मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम वी सी इन द बोर्ड एग्जामिनेशन questions are asked on the map one question will be on map reading the other question will be on mark in map okay student in mark in map we have to identify whatever is given whatever is asked and mark it okay student in this question one more important thing is that writing index students whatever you are marking in the map for that we have to make an index and index is very important without index your answer will not be accepted so how to mark and how to make a index we are going to study in this video students one more important thing in mark in map is that here accuracy is very important in map reading as well as mark in map accuracy is very important we have to identify the given thing and mark it in a accurate place okay students so accuracy is very important so student what kind of question can be asked let's see an example such kind of question can be asked mark the following on the map of india with given information and make an index so what is asked first gangetic dolphin second swam deer third one horned rhinos then fourth bengal tiger fifth ganga delta then sixth 82 degree 5 minute east longitude then seventh lakshadweep island eighth indra point then ninth great indian bustard tenth nilgiri thar goat so student such kind of question can be asked or such kind of things can be asked to mark in the map of india okay. with the map now i will explain you how to mark these things in the map of india and how to make the index too okay student so without further ado let's start with the marking in the map now student this is the map of india and we have to mark the asked the things in this map just now i have told you student whenever you mark anything in the map index is very important so here to save time i have marked a table first here for the purpose of index so it is very important so you can write here index index is very important without index you are marking in the map is useless so preparing index is very important now the first thing that is asked gangetic uh, dolphin where does the gangetic dolphin seen so we know that in the gangetic plain or in uttar pradesh or northern part of india the gangetic dolphins are available for example here this is uttar pradesh as well as this is called as a uh, ganga plains okay so here the gangetic dolphin is available now to mark gangetic dolphin we can select any kind of symbol student you can use star circle triangle a line or a dot anything you can or you can draw a picture of a fish that also work so that we can identify that in the state of uttar pradesh or in the northern plains or in the gangetic plains the gangetic dolphin is available so for example i will draw a fish here for your convenience okay yes student it means that in this state the gangetic dolphin is uh, seen now the second thing is here so how it will be identified so first of all we will draw here the fish okay and in front of it we will write the gangetic dolphin
Okay, it means that wherever this sign is there, there gangetic dolphin is seen. Okay, so this is first important. Now the next thing that is asked, swamp deer. So where is swamp deer is available student? Now let's see, the swamp deer is available or seen in Assam state. Where? Assam. So this is the Assam state. This is the Assam state. Now to show or to mark the uh, swamp deer, I will select a circle. Okay. I will select a circle. Now I will draw a circle here and write here swamp deer. Okay. Yes. It means that wherever the circle is there, there, there we can see the swamp deer. Now the next thing is asked that is one horned rhinos. Okay, student. So, where is one horned rhinos can be seen? Again, in the state of Assam, one horned rhinos can be seen. Okay, I student. So, to mark the one horned rhinos, I will select a triangle. Any kind of symbol you can write here. So, here I will draw a triangle and here I will write what one horned rhinos. Okay, students, understood? So, in this way, we have to mark, we have to draw any kind of symbol. You can write any kind of symbol. And now, now, student, the next one is Bengal tiger. Student, we can easily write this answer. Bengal tiger can be seen in West Bengal. So, where Bengal. is Bengal, West Bengal? So, here. And to show the Bengal, this is the West Bengal. Okay, where is Ganga Delta is also there. So, I will write here, I will make a symbol of square here, okay, to show the Bengal tiger. Now, I will make a square here in the index and mark it with what? Bengal tiger. Okay, student, accurate place and symbol and name of the symbol should be given, okay, so that your answer will be accepted, student, without accuracy without marking the symbol without writing the name of the symbol it is not accepted so it is very important to mark the symbol and give the name to the symbol next one is ganga delta student we know that here is ganga delta this is the part of ganga delta okay so what you can use to show the ganga delta for example i will use a zigzag line here like this okay so where is it you know better in a west bengal zigzag line i am using here so, I will write, I will mark a line here first, zigzag line and here I will write Ganga Delta. Okay, students have understood? Very good. Now, student, next one is, students, the next one is that 82 degree 30 minutes is to longitude. It means that we have to mark the longitude. Okay. Which longitude? 82 degree 30 minutes east longitude. Students, to draw or to mark this longitude, accuracy is very important. For example, here is 80 degree and here we can see 84 degree. So, in between we can draw 82 degree. And we need to understand here from which states does it pass. Okay, students. So, here I will use a scale to draw it properly so that the line can be clearly drawn okay so uh, we know that it passes through nepal then it passes through uttar pradesh okay students now chhattisgarh and then last andhra pradesh okay students so here i would like to draw a line this is 80 for example 80 degrees here 82 degree we can say here okay it passes through the uttar pradesh so i will use a dot lines here okay short lines i will use to draw it will pass through uttar pradesh then somewhat it pass through the madhya pradesh also this is the part of madhya pradesh this is uttar pradesh this is up this is yamp so some of the part that is we know that madhya pradesh then this is what chhattisgarh okay we should know the chhattisgarh also then it passes through what students some of the part of Odisha, okay, Odisha is there and this is the Tamil Nadu, Tamil Nadu, okay. 
and in this way it passes through so accuracy is very important students and it doesn't touch to the sri lanka it is by the side of sri lanka okay so this is 82 degree 30 minutes we can write if you want you can write if it is asked to write you can write here okay east longitude okay now student so here i will draw small lines i write 82 degree 30 minutes east okay have you understood yes very good now the next thing that is asked lakshadweep island students we know that india has islands on the both side west side and east side on the east side andaman nicobar islands are there and on the west side lakshadweep islands are there to show the lakshadweep island i will use what i can use now any symbol you can use student for example i will use a star here okay yes i will write a star here and here i will write lakshadweep island okay student lakshadweep island now the next thing that we need to mark that is indira point the last or the southernmost part of India or the southernmost southernmost marine point of India is Indra point. So, here it is the Indra point. Okay, this is the Indra point. So, to show this, I will use a field circle. Okay, field circle or a dot, big dot we can say. Now, I will draw a field circle here. Okay, and then I will write here, what is it? Indira point. Yes, the ninth one is Great Indian Bustard. Where do we see this Great Indian Bustard? The Great Indian Bustards we see in the Rajasthan. Okay, students, the part of Rajasthan. So, here I will mark the Great Indian Bustard in Rajasthan. Where is Rajasthan? This part is called as a Rajasthan. <coughs> So, here what I will use now, any symbol you can, just now I have told you, any symbol you can use. For example, I will use this symbol for this cross symbol, okay. I will write here, great Indian bustard, okay student. Now, one more thing is left, that is uh, Nilgari Thar goat. Nilgari Thar goat can be seen in Tamil Nadu, okay student. So, this is the state of Tamil Nadu here we see what the Nilgiri Thar goat so to show this I will use a plus sign okay so I will write here plus and then Nilgiri Thar goat yes students so here is the southern part you might haven't seen while marking it so this part is southern part and for that I have used a field okay field circle okay yes students so, in this way, we have marked all the asked things in the question. Gangetic dolphin is here in UP state. Then swamp deer is in Assam as well as one horned rhinos in Assam. Then Bengal tiger here in West Bengal. Then Ganga Delta we know in the West Bengal here we have Ganga Delta. Then 82 degree 30 minutes east longitude we have drawn here, marks here. Then Lakshadweep Islands on the left hand side on the western side of India we have Lakshadweep here. So I have marked a star here, Indra point. Just now I have shown you the field circle is used to show the Indra point. The cross symbol is used to show great Indian bustard which is in Rajasthan here. Then the last one, the plus sign I have marked to show Nilgiri Thar Goat, which is in Tamil Nadu. Okay, student. So in this way, question can be asked, okay, to mark in map. Okay, students. So you might have got the idea how to make an index and mark the things. Okay, students. Yes, very good. Students, if you have liked this video, if you have understood something from it, then do not forget to like it, comment below the video. Do not forget to share it to your friends and ask them to subscribe my channel. If you are new on my channel, please subscribe my channel. Thank you.
be connected be studious and give respect to your parents and teachers bye